Your plan seemed to work. The monger thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Rasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I agree with Rasidas. I say we take him to the sacred cave. This isn't what we planned. The monger needs to be erased from existence. We'll fight him in a private place, and he'll die. A simple transaction. Remember? If you insist, we'll meet you at the sacred cave. So it is you, a demigod in the soot and shit streets of Corinth, killing my men, helping those fucking parasites? That's me. Ah, arrogant! Just like your mother! You'll never rule these streets, you pig! Oh, you... Bet your pretty face I will. Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof! What? You knew? Oh, I fucking knew her all right. She was big fucking trouble. But I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head! Themos will wish she was watching this. Not if I bring her yours first. Get the fuck out of my city! It's not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets!
I could have been there to watch Thebos break your neck. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Wait! No! The people of Corinth must see him die! And so, sir? Take him out of here and bring him to the theater! Show everyone he's cowardice! Fine. Lead the way. To the theater. For all to see him as he really is. People of Corinth, behold the weasel that steals your bread. The scourge that spoils your crops. You've waited long enough to get your hands on him. The pleasure is all mine. Feel better? I have been starving for this. He deserved all of it. And you deserve your answers. Come, let's speak in private. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. <laughs> there is more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Gorin from that beast. It's no secret that I'll also benefit from his death. Let's talk. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the port. She could have stayed with us, but I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? 
A husband, a family. Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tichy owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Alexios. Visit me anytime. I'll catch you up on Corinth's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Side and soul. If I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step closer to finding her.